Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is a video following on from the London vlog videos that I made and it's just to share tips, tricks uh, and things that I learned along the way and things that might help you if you're travelling to London with kids. So we got the train down from Scotland and it was £155.80 return and that's for two adults and one child. My son Ibrahim is an eight year old and my three year old daughter was free but she didn't have an allocated seat so unless somebody had booked the seat that we sat her on we would have to put her on our lap which happened to us on the way back so on the way down we managed to sit together as a family but um, my husband and son were behind me and me and Irha um, were in front so we we tried to book a um, table so that we could sit together but we couldn't get it so we, did, we were still next to each other um, but that's something to be mindful of if you're going with kids that if you if you go for a young, for a younger child, they don't have a reserved seat, so you might need to move them um, from the seat that they're in. Something that I didn't anticipate: the three of us, myself, my husband, and Ibrahim, my son, we were really sick on this train journey, and we aren't normally. You know, we fly, we do different things, and we're absolutely fine. So take travel sickness tablets and keep hydrated and. I think try not to eat too much but the way that the train moved it was really making us feel unwell what we had done was we ordered two oyster cards and because my kids were under 12 they were able to travel free with us because we were paying adults so we pre preloaded that with about 30 pound that's for about four days they say 30 pound for each card should be enough but then we, towards the end of the journey we did have to um you know top it up but we travelled loads and loads on that card. So what I would recommend is you do a kind of itinerary. So you are making the most of your time. Then you're getting to see everything that you need to see. So when we came, we went from Scotland to London Euston. It took um, about four hours, 20 minutes on the train. And it did stop at different places. And as soon as we got there, we got the underground from Euston to Waterloo. And we got some shawarma. And then from there, it was walking distance to the London Eye. Even if you book, you need to be mindful that there is a lot of waiting and a lot of queue and you can't go on earlier than your time and they do like security sweeps of each of the capsules to make sure that they're safe but definitely you need to do this because the view is incredible. We actually did the Kellogg's deal so we got one free adult ticket. I'll list all of that below. Um, so if you buy any Kellogg's or certain products you can get one free adult. Um, it makes a little bit of a difference. But absolutely, it's a must-see um, site. So from there, we had um, we went to this like hotel apartment, apart the hotel type thing, um, which was perfect for us. So you've seen on the map the distance uh, that it was from Waterloo, and it's just one direct train on the district line on the underground. That was a bit hard with our buggy and the kids and our luggage and things. So we just wanted to go home. Or go to the hotel to freshen up because we were so tired we'd up, been up since really early and on the train ride and it was incredibly hot this is a place this was a halal um turkish kebab place near the hotel so it's not in we had to go back into london city we would have been back on the underground kids were tired and it was really hot so we just looked for somewhere nearby and i had researched all of this before and that day we didn't do too much we just kind of relaxed and then the next day we had booked the open top bus this was a group on that i bought and i'll break down the price in the description box below so this is the route that it takes these are all the stops and um you actually got access to the blue the royal borough route and the yellow route and the yellow route starts at lesser square so we stopped started at number one we went we did the whole route and then we decided where we wanted to get off um, so I had all that pre-booked again two tickets for two adults and a child and my daughter was um, free and this was the price just coming up on the screen there so three, £36.50 for an adult and the price there is for the child as well so that makes a big difference and it was two bus so it wasn't the standard the original tour bus because the price was extremely high but this was actually a really really good option and we got to see loads of London you get to see so much more and it is quite tiring walking 
in the heat. This was in July, so it was really hot. Um, and the kids get tired as well. My son's eight, so he gets quite tired as well. So this was quite a good way to see the whole city. And then just get off where we needed to get off. So we got to see all of the main sites. And it was beautiful weather, so we really got to enjoy it on the open top bus. I think it's a must thing to do. It's a must, you know, way of sightseeing the whole city and then deciding where you want to get off. This particular day, we wanted to see Buckingham Palace as well, but we had to stop like two stops before and then we had to walk really far to see it. But definitely, you know, it was a really, really good way to see everything. Uh, this is Piccadilly. Um, and it's like the kind of New York idea with the big screens. It's such an amazing, busy city. You know, it is really overwhelming. The underground is extremely overwhelming for the kids and people are rushing and the escalators are really steep. So just be mindful of that. Also on the underground, very few stations have disabled access or pram uh, buggy access for us. It shows you on the map which ones have the have disabled access or lift access to the street and some of them actually have lifts all the way down to the platform so that's something to be mindful of. Um, this is Leicester Square and um, this is where we started our um, open top bus. We did as much of that as we could. We only had a one day ticket and we managed to do the red, the yellow route sorry and the blue route and this was where we came back to when we got dropped back off at Leicester Square. We see so the next day we went on the Uber, uh, the river bus and uh, we went to Emirates, um, the cable cars and that was another amazing experience, great way to see the city and also we went to Halal Guys which we really loved and also we went to see these water fountains um, which the kids really loved. So there are free things to do in the city as well as expensive things. Um, this was really good. So there's loads of like boat cruises and boat rides that you can do, but we opted to do the river um, bus and we managed to, we were able to use our Oyster cards to pay for this. Um, and it's a, it was a quite a lengthy journey from, I believe, I think it was Waterloo, all the way to Greenwich. Um, so we had, to, I mean, we would have been on so many undergrounds. So this was a kind of different experience. Uh, that's a police boat there that you can see. Um, so it was really, we had to kind of travel quite a distance and then it took us straight off at um, North Greenwich Pier and uh, we just walked over to the Emirates cable cars. Um, this, there was quite a queue for this so it might be best to pre-book this if you were to go and we were able to show our Oyster card and to get a little bit of a discount but this is something the kids love. We've done this before in Turkey and it's so nice the amazing views you get to see so much of the city and wave at random people as they're driving past in their cable cars as well so it's it didn't take that long i believe it was around about 20 30 minutes i think it was to go all the way um round we actually stayed in the car but didn't actually get off at the other side we just went to one side and then came all the way back so a really really nice experience not too expensive i'll break the price down and the the description box so that is something kind of unique it's not typical what people do usually it is the open top bus and london eye and seeing all of the main um like the buckingham palace and the houses of parliament but this is a really really nice unique experience it is a bit out of the city so it's not in the right in london city center so a bit of a trek to get to you could get there under with a couple of underground um, journeys but this was the most kind of direct one for us and once we finished from here the kids loved it the kids Irha and Ibrahim are not scared you know mashallah they really really enjoyed it um, not ideal if you're really really scared of heights but nevertheless a really really nice experience a totally smooth journey and we really really liked it so after this, um, we had our trek um, from North Greenwich. We got the underground to, and I think we had to change about three times to get to Earl's Court where Halal Guys is. 
and this is a New York, you, it started off as a New York cart um, eating place, like a kind of takeaway place and now it's kind of got worldwide, it's got a couple of worldwide branches and this is the one in London so it's a very very simple menu all they have is like chicken I think or lamb or mix and it's like either in shawarma bread or you can get a platter and chips so it's a really limited menu and they're legendary white garlic sauce or red chilli sauce which is really extreme it was amazing this is the if you see those little disabled icons those are the ones the white one or blue one stand for either all the way to the left or all the way to the street but a lot of the stations don't have um, disabled access so from there once we ate we jumped back on the underground and went to Kensington station which is near Harrods and that is an amazing place even if you're not going to buy even if you're just going to have a look it's so nice this is the I think it's a Gucci cafe and it's kind of outside is all Tutankhamun or Egypt themed and you can buy loads of tech from there it's really nice and um, you can buy souvenirs and then from there we went to London Bridge, so another um, train ride, underground ride, and the kids played with the water fountains. In the heat, they really, really enjoy water fountains. So there was water fountains here, right next to Tower Bridge, and also at King's Cross, and there are other water fountains across the city as well. So it's like a nice little break if you want to sit, maybe have something to eat, enjoy the weather, enjoy the atmosphere, and kids just loved playing in it. And it cools them down as well in the heat so i would definitely recommend that if you like this video guys please like share follow and subscribe thank you so much for watching oh and one more thing i nearly forgot on the final day um as we were heading back we went to camden food market and there was loads of halal options so there was halal noodles halal pizzas and chinese and fried chicken and there were so many options there was desserts there was different things and there was little almost glass domes that you could go and sit inside so you were covered um, that was really nice you could just buy some food and then sit in these little domes uh, which was really nice nice experience so we got off at Camden Market Camden and then just walked down to Camden Market and this is what we got we got some Chinese food and some snacks uh, to kind of keep us going because we were about to head back home and this was going to be our train ride um, back to Scotland so we just kind of enjoyed the atmosphere and sat in one of these little covered picnic I don't know what to call them little domes and the kids just ate something which was really good and another nice little sightseeing place and then before we went home or before we went to Euston we just stopped at King's Cross as I mentioned we played with these amazing water fountains which was totally amazing kids really enjoyed it so I hope you liked this, I hope this was really helpful for you and if you have any questions please uh, drop me a little message, please like, share, comment and subscribe and um, I hope you stay with me for our future adventures.